What's going on YouTube? Greenwood Evil here, and we are taking a pause from all the Pokemon craziness that is going on on this channel, because it's been a lot. And let's try to move on to something else for once, just for a little bit, just for this video for now. So, in front of me, we have the Power Rangers movie, Triceratops Battlezord. Now, if you see behind it, I'll move it, you see the T-Rex Battlezord there. I did a review on that one. I'll post it up here on the top right. Um, I'll also post throughout the video, you'll see the uh, Pterodactyl on the top right. You click that information bar at any point, you can go to those to watch those. Um, those are pretty cool. Uh, but we are on our third re uh, review of the Power Ranger and Movie Zords. So we are going to open this one up after we take a peek at the box. So it's pretty much the same thing as the Triceratops we're used to, except for it has six legs for some reason. I guess we'll see why. I, there's a big, there's a heavy alien theme in this movie that I'm noticing with the way that they're supposed to, it's supposed to be a Triceratops, but it's got six legs, as you can see. It's very strange. Um, we got little Billy who sits in the cockpit. Uh, then, of course, the back, where it shows uh, that, let me move the camera up just a tad. You see on the top right there that uh, you can fire the missile from its tail, which is pretty much the same as the original, which I will definitely show you because I have it with me. Um, and then you can see that it becomes the, uh, the R, to our right, the right leg of the, um, of the Megazord, which, Hopefully in the near future I will get the Mastodon and the uh, Sabertooth Tiger, which I have seen once or twice, but obviously, as I said, we were going Pokemon crazy, so I didn't think it was the right time to purchase it. Um, but now let us get to this unboxing. I know you've probably, there's other videos you could watch on YouTube as well about this. They've posted it for a month already. I've had this in my possession for probably about a month. Um, but, you know, uh... Other prior engagements. Oh, that's cool. This looks great. Oh, man. I like this. I think this is pretty these are pretty neat um, Again inside the um, The top of the box here, which I'm not going to tear it open But there's the instructions to how this detaches and goes on to the Megazord uh, is in here So if you're thinking about purchasing these don't like cut across this part here because you're gonna cut the uh the material but i mean you can just probably break it apart yourself and figure it out we're gonna take the missiles out i'm not sure why it comes with two but it comes with two if i can get them open let me get the scissors here i'm gonna do i'm gonna do exactly what i said for you guys not to do so just keep that in mind actually well you know what we'll get billy out first billy seems to be a little bit easier in his little cubby here so there's billy it's tough to see, the camera doesn't focus too well, but there's also not so much detail on him. It's all blue and uh, a little bit of silver for around the mouth, and uh, as the other ones, the black for the visor. Um, wow, he's wrapped up really well, man. Alright, there we go. So we got Billy out. Little Billy. I'm the smart one. Um, put that here. Look at him sit down. What's funny? <laughs> it's like, looks like the Triceratops. Never mind. Never mind. I'm not going to get to that. Uh... Okay, here we go. Now we got them. Now we got the missiles. I'm not sure why it comes with two. It comes with two missiles because it it only looks like that the Triceratops fires one because the Triceratops goes like this, and you kind of put the the missile in there. Is it in? No, it is in. That's weird. And then I guess you I guess you push you push it out like that. Oh, that's all it does. Okay. So it's basically like the like the T-Rex was. Um, you just it's you kind of have to do it yourself. There's no button, so you just kind of push it. Oh, well, not like that, but you have to push it hard, and it fires out. It doesn't fire very far, but it comes with two. Um, maybe the second one goes with a Megazord or something. Um, obviously, I didn't read the instructions, so I have no idea. I'm just reviewing the toy. Um, what does this do? Oh, that's got to be something with the Megazord. That's cool. <laughs> oh, and his head comes off. Yeah, that's definitely Megazord material right there. We're at, we're not gonna get into that in this video, but um, this is the Triceratops here and Billy, which I pushed him around. Come here, Billy. You have to go. You have to go and pilot this sucker, which is right here, as you can see in the head, which makes sense. Not with the T Rex, where it's in his mouth. Um, Billy goes in there and chills, and then a comparison to the original original which is right here, 
This is the original Triceratops. A little bit beat up condition. I got this off eBay years ago with the rest of the set. Um, this one's not missing pieces, but it is like a little damaged on the nose and stuff. Um, I did buy the Legacy version, but I ended up selling it. I, I didn't need it. I thought it was cooler to have the original one. Um, Repro Labels pr uh, prints these stickers still. You can still get stickers for these to re-sticker them. So, at some point, I'm going to re-sticker all the old Zords that I have. I did re-sticker the Dragon Zord, which is awesome. I'll, uh, I'll probably do that in another video or something. Um, but that one looks excellent. But, um, so, the Triceratops is the legs... Uh, the, 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 is the right leg and is the leg in the original series too which is cool and in the original series the, the Triceratops also f shoots its guns like that I mean it's not supposed to go all the way down as for when it becomes a Megazord but it's you know it's supposed to stay like that I think mine is broken it's old as hell um, and then this one of course flips up so it basically it's basically got the same idea this is probably besides a pterodactyl over there this is probably the closest so far that I purchased that, it, you know, to the original, because the T-Rex got, you know, a little bit different going on. It's got that giant gun, so that's a little different. Uh, looks more like a, looks more like Grimlock from the most recent Transformers. Um, but let me uh, flip over my mat here so we get a better color comparison, because that green with evil, this really sweet mat that I have, sometimes does get a little in the way. So if we flip it over... You get better color because it's not on white, it's on black. See, you get a little bit better there. And then we also have the regular original Triceratops there. But um, anyway, this is the this is pretty much it. I mean, I like it, as I said with the other ones. I like the designs. I'm hoping at some point to come out with a legacy version that's a little bit smaller. Because when I put these guys together, it's going to be huge. It's going to be probably about the size uh, or close to the size of my little backdrop I have right there, as you can see. So it's going to be really big. Um, but definitely going to buy it. Definitely like it. I think it's cool. Um... It's worth the purchase if you're a if you're a Power Rangers fan um, to display this one especially because it looks really cool. Um, I, I said I like the pterodactyl is my favorite, but it might be the Triceratops. This one looks nice. Uh, but then again, I've seen the Saber Two Tiger as you can see on the back of the box here, and the Saber Two Tiger looks really cool too. It's got also got giant guns on it. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, pretty much it, guys. Um, I'll leave some links in the de in the description below to my buddy um, Scarlet Impaler. He just started his um, his YouTube um, channel. He's doing he does Pokemon stuff. Uh, he's doing lightsaber builds. It's really cool. He does live stream. He live streams on his Facebook page, the Scarlet Impaler. I'll leave a link to the bo uh, below. And then he also posts them back on YouTube after he's done doing them live. So you actually can watch them whenever you want. He actually shows you the whole the whole thing. But anyway, we're getting too far away from P Power Rangers here. So let's get back to Power Rangers for a second. So we have three of the five Zords now, as you can see right there. We have three of the five Zords. Um, let's move him out of the way so we get the, the new looks. Uh, hopefully this weekend, I know Toys R Us is doing a sale on all the movie toys. It's buy one, get one half off. So if I can luck out and find the Triceratops, um, the Mastodon and the, um, Ma uh, the, uh, Saber Tooth Tiger, then I will definitely scoop them up. Maybe I'll do, like, a joint review or something. Like, I'll do, uh, both Zords in one shot so then we can just get to the, gr the, the, the grand finale of putting these suckers together to make the Megazord, uh, which will be its own video itself because, obviously, you want to say that to be its own thing. You don't want to have it clog with anything else. But, um, of course, that's the end of the video. It's just a quick review. I, I, you know, I give all these like a 7 out of 10. I, I'm not, you know, I mean, seeing the, the new legacy stuff from uh, years ago that looks crazy. Like, this is just plastic stuff with like three, three, four colors at the most. This one has like three colors. Um, but, anyway, as always, if you like the video, like the video, subscribe down below or in the left corner over here. I'll put some other videos here, um, mostly Pokemon, because I already have shared those in the information bar on top. Remember, top right information bar to find those reviews on those two awesome Zords. And until next time, guys, take it easy. Peace.